joint problems which we encounter in our practice and how we manage these problems starting from the first and second decade usually patient when with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that is common in third and fourth decade even fifth decade we encounter rheumatoid arthritis and gout osteoarthritis which involves wear and tear of the joint it is common with increasing age commonly encountered in age group of 60 and 60 plus other conditions of the knee joint which we encounter usually sport players they present to us with meniscal injuries ligament injuries this is model of knee joint the femur and tibial articular surfaces and patella they constitute the knee joint inside the joint we have anterior cruciate ligament lateral menisci medial menisci medial and lateral collateral ligaments and behind there is a posterior cruciate ligament these are the injuries which we encounter in sports personnel all these injuries we are dealing here at greenshaw hospital other common conditions in the knee joint include bursitis there are numerous bursae around the patella prepatellar area there are affections of the cartilage as we encounter in the patella there is chondromalacia patella osteochondritis involving the femoral condyles that is common all the conditions these we encounter in our normal practice patients usually present with pain swelling stiffness inability to bear weight difficulty in bearing weight sometimes there is locking so we get this type of presentation most of the early cases of ligament um, and meniscus injuries of arthritis soft tissue injuries they can be dealt by rice protocol which means rest ice compression and ele elevation anti inflammatory me medications they are patients with high grade meniscus injuries and complete anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligaments we are dealing with arthroscopic keyhole surgery techniques in which there are only 0.5 uh, cm incision is given on both side of the knee and any condition can be dealt by that incision it's a sutureless technique in the post op period even there are no sutures we are giving to the patient and patient are usually mobilized on the day one patient most of the sports patients can return to normal activities and can perform sport activities in 4 to 6 months time period patients with osteoarthritis they are increasing in modern era due to sedentary lifestyle and more obesity patients with osteoarthritis which usually were presenting in the age group of 60 and above in the past times nowadays we are in getting advanced arthritis cases in 50 and 55 years most of the cases early cases they can be dealt by lifestyle changes like routine exercise swimming cycling and weight reduction even early cases we have anti inflammatory drugs analgesics calcium vitamin d supplements viscoelastic supplements for moderate degree cases we are giving intra articular hyaluronic acid injections at our hospital with very good results people are getting uh, good symptomatic relief with intraarticular injection in the early disease in case of advanced involvement that can also be unicompartmental or tricompartmental in unicompartmental involvement in which there is only medial condyle is involved we are doing unicondylar or partial knee replacement surgeries with very good results patients are usually mobilized on day 1 of surgery and are discharged within day 4 or day 5 and it is a very minimally invasive surgery we are using very small incision for partial knee replacement in post operative period these days patients usually experience very little pain in contrast to the patient used to experience in the past times 
due to minimal invasive nature of surgery and advanced pain management protocols. In case of tricompartmental involvement, also um, these days we are doing very minimal invasive quadriceps pain surgery with early mobilization of the patient. What we do is the when total surface is involved, then these are metal caps, cobalt, chromium, high quality metal caps, then joint surface is replaced with the metal caps. This is on the femoral side and this one on the tibial side. These patients also, they are mobilized on day two of surgery and usually discharged within day five of surgery. Due to effective pain management protocols, patients are very comfortable in the post-operative period. We have laminar airflow OTs in our nation hospital. So the infection risk is ne ne very negligible. We have not encountered any infection in the past two years of my practice. And results are very good and satisfactory for the patient. In modern era, with the use of long lasting, high flexion, gender specific knee implants, results have improved dramatically. Our patients are able to walk in minimal sport during the first four to six weeks. And after that, patients can perform normal activities of the same age group where their peers are performing, good results up to the tune of 90 to 95 percent. Patients should seek early specialist advice as with increasing age, muscles and bones will become weak and results are less satisfactory. In the end, I will conclude by saying that stay healthy, stay mobile. Thank you.